name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to adjust rows in InDesign. So um, the, when you're adjusting rows, actually, what I'm referring to is as a table. And I'm going to show you how to draw a table and then how to adjust the rows in the table. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your type tool. And you're going to draw out how big you want your table to be. So I want mine to be pretty small. But I'm going to leave an, a little bit of extra room. And you can always adjust the size like so. And now, and actually, don't do that. Just make sure you pick the size you want at first, because the option to insert a table will go away. So go to Table while your Type tool is still selected. Go to Insert Table, and this will open up your Table panel. And Body Rows and Columns just means how many rows you have, how many columns you have. So I'd say four is enough. All right, so now you've got your table. But suppose maybe your table isn't ideal to what you want for the information inside of it. Maybe it's too small. So when you double click, and just make sure your type tool is selected and go into your type text box. And just as you can see, this little arrow that shows up, click and drag down to the size you want. So I'd say I won't mind about that big. Now, the tricky part about this is the way that these rows will adjust. So watch what happens when I try to adjust this next one. It doesn't go down into the next row. It simply moves the row and resizes it with the, the row I've already adjusted attached to it in the same size. So you're just going to want to have a little extra room in your text box for this flexibility to be able to make these rows big enough. And you can always adjust the columns the same way. So maybe you have like one column that has information and then the data. And you can always just, you know, like I was doing. My name is Alex and this is how you adjust rows in InDesign. Thank you.